So this for me is one of my favourite, if not my most favourite picture ever of Little Mix. Hi there fans, we're Little Mix and we're about to take on every picture tells a story. It certainly does, doesn't it? Right, let's begin. So the first image is an image of me and Jade at the Teen Awards. Um, we look like a happy married couple. And I think what was going through my head at the time is we look like a happy married couple. We're a bit clingy, us girls, with one another. So when we're on red carpets or if we're getting photographed or anything, we get a bit anxious. So we like to hold hands, make sure we're like with each other. Now, I remember it well because it was only the two of us. Um, and it's always a bit strange when only two of us like go to an event or do something. It feels really weird when we're not all together as a group. Um, but I remember really enjoying this day. I do remember this day like it was yesterday and we all just got to a hotel somewhere around. I think we were recording the album and we were traveling a lot and we got to this hotel and we decided to all jump in the bath, do a little picture. There was a huge rubber ducky in there, as you can see. Um, yeah, and it was just really cute. Oh, we look like babies. Oh, look at us. We were just babies in a bathtub with a giant rubber duck. Um, that was right at the beginning. One of, probably one of the first pictures we took together. Oh my gosh, that's when we literally, we, was, we were young, we loved life, and we had no cares, no worries. Um, yeah, that I, love, I love that picture. Aww. So this one is us when we first ever started in the group. And I think it was like the first hotel we stayed in after um, when we were recording the first DNA album and we all decided to get in the bathtub and take a picture. Fun times. Um, and even though we were in hotels and separate rooms, we always used to stay in one room together because we just loved being around each other so much. Always had a laugh. And this was us in one of the bathrooms, all squashed in the bath together, pulling funny faces and smiling. So yeah, really, really happy memories of this. Looks-wise, I don't think we should really talk about that because not our best. But you know what, we were young, everything was colourful at the time, we all had different crazy hair colours. Um, it was just about experimenting and having fun, so even though we probably didn't look our best, um, you know, it's all about how we felt in that moment. Oh, this was when we performed Women Like Me at the Brits. Possibly one of the best performances I feel like we've ever done. This brings back happy memories because we absolutely were cropping our pants to do this performance and we were so happy that everything went perfect like it couldn't have gone any more perfect and it was this is literally like was a sign of relief that we've done it and we hugged each other because we were just so proud of each other it went so well everyone loved our look and our outfits i feel like every time we do a brit awards we have to like pull out all the stops the budget comes in the looks are served very very good day for little mix i remember seeing her do the choreography for the first time and me and the girls looked at each other and we actually felt emotional like we were about to cry and um, we got a bit teary eyed and it was epic and then we were like okay it looks great and it's epic but how are we now going to do that choreography um but it was amazing and it went perfectly we couldn't have wished for it to go any better we won a brit award that night as well and um, it was pretty epic okay let's have a look Woo! Ah, so this one, this is a bit of a random one. This is our Kiss Halloween gig looks where we dressed as Kiss. Um, yeah, I remember I came up with this idea because one of my exes at the time came up with this idea to do this look and we'd only just started seeing each other so I really wanted to impress him. So when he suggested, I was like, yeah, 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 good idea. That's just the girls and asked if we could all dress as Kiss. So that's how that happened. No, yeah, I loved that day. I loved all our makeup. I thought we looked amazing. I think we look interesting, but it was a very good night to say the least. It was fun. Oh, other than the fact that Gene Simmons' son posted it and then Gene Simmons saw it. And then they were like, oh, if you're ever in America, come over to the house and hang out sometime. And I remember thinking, what? <laughs> Sick. And we just, Formed Think About Us, which was our single at the time. And yeah, we did an interview with Graham Norton. It was really fun. And we were with other guests. Also, a fantastic time. 
this was also a very good day. We rarely have bad days, do you know what I mean? Unless it was like, you know, seven, eight years ago. Um, and this was all kind of like warm tones, a little bit of prints as well here and there. Um, yeah, it was a really, really lovely look. I've still got my all-in-one tiger. Oh, do you know what? That, that could come really well to do in the um, Carol Baskin TikTok <laughs> for Tiger King. I'll have to fish that out and do the TikTok later. Okay, so this next picture is uh, of Jade slaying the, um, what is it called? The uh, slot drop, what is it called? Death drop, is it a death drop? Ah yeah, come through. This is me doing a fantastic, my ad, dip in front of the Eiffel Tower. Why not, she's a queen, why can't she? Oh, Jade doing her little drop in the middle of Paris, looking amazing. So that was on our last tour, which was wicked. I missed tours so bad. I can't wait to go back. Oh, another tour picture. So this is obviously right before we go on stage and we're doing our little talk where we kind of get each other pumped. Um, and one of the dance normally gives us a really good sort of pep talk before we go on. Um, yeah. Oh my God, I miss it. I can't wait to go back. I just miss the fans and the screams and yeah, get us back on stage, honestly. Ooh, yeah. And um, yeah, this might have been, where was this? I mean, I can't tell where it was, but I can say that the LM5 tour was pretty litty litty absolutely incredible always our favorite time being on tour because we get to see our fans every single day and perform to them so yeah that was a great moment usually the dance captains say a few inspiring words to get everyone going or we might do depending on how um psyched up we're feeling and then we always do a little chant together put our hands in the air cheer give everyone a cuddle and a kiss wish everyone good luck for the show and then head to stage so yeah these are always really special moments for us especially when it's like the first or last show or a show where like there's a guest coming on or something special is happening next picture is us rehearsing for lm5 tour um which was pretty intense um yeah it was actually really hard the rehearsals for lm5 tour i don't know why but it just was I think it was a different style of choreography that we've been used to in the past. Um, so a lot of it was quite hard to pick up. Rehearsals are long. Um, they're hard work, they really are. And especially like at the beginning because we're learning everything and I struggle to pick up dance routines. So I feel like I need a lot of time. Um, so there's always a few tears and tantrums, but we get there in the end. This next picture is of us with our mums on the set of the Power Music video and they all got dressed up, bless them. And we did a big strut down the street in America with loads of other people, it was amazing. And it's the first time our mums have been in a music video of us, so they absolutely loved it. That was a really amazing moment. I think that picture is just so strong. Like, it's got our mums, like the most incredible women in our lives and the song Power is just, yeah, it just all worked so perfectly, I think. And that was also the day that the Triple A girls were in the video, which was very exciting for me, because I was such a fan girl. Um, and I remember my solo being the last of the night. It was like 1 a.m. or something stupid, and I was so tired, which usually happens with music videos, and very long days. It was so cute. I love having our moms involved in stuff, like music videos, just anything. I love it when they're there. One, we get to spend a bit more time with them, which we never do, because um, we're always so busy. So this was in LA, and all the mams flew out to LA to be in the music video, and they spent a week with us, and they got to see like what promo we do and how busy we are. And if I remember, they were literally sick of their lives, like, we're so tired. You guys do so much in a day. Um, and then being mothers, they were like overly protective, like, should you be doing this much during the day? It's all this promo, it's too much. Um, but yeah, they loved it nonetheless. It was really fun. It's nice to hang out with our moms when we can. Oh my gosh, probably one of the most amazing moments 
of Little Mix History and we won our first brick. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, take me back. Wow. That was probably one of the most incredible, incredible moments ever. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And I think you can tell from this picture by our faces how shocked we were that we'd won a Brit Award. Because we just, I mean, we knew we deserved a Brit Award, but we never thought it was going to happen. And um, yeah, I just feel like this picture says it all. But one of the best nights of my life. We definitely weren't expecting to win, as we, we never really do, to be honest. I feel like we're always kind of like the dark horse. Um, in the music industry so you know the Brit Awards is very prestigious and there's a lot of critics and people judging you and I feel like as a girl band it's quite hard to actually win anything at the Brit Awards so that night you know we didn't really get our hopes up too much and we won best single for Shout Out To My Ex which was like just yeah one of the best nights of our careers and our lives and it was just amazing uh, and we just you can tell by our faces it was just the best feeling in the whole world I think winning a Brit Award, you just feel like as an artist, it's huge because it makes you feel credible. It makes you realise that people are standing up and realising that they appreciate your music, your craft, all that kind of jazz. So yeah, it made us feel incredible. We were that excited, we celebrated, we screamed, we jumped around at the table, and then we were like, where do we go? We'd never won a Brit Award before. Um, so we were like, is it this way, is it that way? We just look like lost little arms. It was pretty messy but it was cute that's it really thanks for hanging out with me while i've laid every picture tells a story um please everybody stay safe um stay home uh save lives do your part and try keep creative keep yourself busy keep yourself sane um and check out our brand new song breakup song wow